Happy Monday, fifth grade. This is Miss Gibson coming with you with your grammar for today. So of course you guys should have Monday, May 11th um, content link out this video. Any notes that you would need to help guide you today for your grammar lesson. Now, we are going to be working on creating sentences today with possessive nouns. Do you remember what a possessive noun is? Right. So it's basically the nouns or nouns of the sentence that's showing ownership. So let's look at this example that's here right now. It says the room of the girl and the boy. Now, the you are supposed to rewrite the sentence and show this possessive noun. So the girl and boy's room is the correct way because we are showing ownership of who the room belongs to. And in a certain way that's adding the apostrophe S to your nouns. All right, so this is what you guys are going to do for today. So make sure you are rewriting those sentences um, on a sheet of paper to the side of you. So then when you come back and check your work, then you'll see if you are getting all of them correct. So we are working again on possessive nouns and we are trying to work on showing our ownership of that noun to the item or thing in the sentence. Go ahead and pause the video and get started. All right, welcome back from trying them out on your own. Now let's go through each one to make sure that you have them correct. Okay, so for number one, it says the toy of the boy and the toy of the boy. So in this case, we have two boys and they both have toys. So we're gonna show possessive the possessive noun as boys and then its ownership of the toys. So it's gonna be the boys toys. Now, realize I have the apostrophe after the S because this is showing here that there are more, it's more than one boy. The sentence said the toy of the boy and the toy of the boy, which means that this is showing ownership of two boys. So I made this plural first and then added the apostrophe to show that ownership. So it's the boys toys. Number two, the house of my mom. So there's only one person here, so we're showing ownership of the house. So that possessive noun mom is gonna be changed to mom's house, so the mom's house. And then of course, I have the apostrophe before the S because it's only one mom in this sentence and it's not multiple people that we're talking about. Number three, the ball of the dog, the dog's ball. So again, we're showing ownership of the ball and we're putting this possessive noun with the apostrophe S on dog and it's only one dog. Number four, the lady's purse. Again, only one person and we're trying to, we're trying to show ownership of purse. So the lady's purse with the apostrophe S for lady. Number five, the telephone of the man, the man's telephone. Same process as we just did for the previous three. It's an apostrophe S because we only have one person for man and it's the telephone for ownership. So the man's telephone. Number six, the car of the mailman and his wife. The mailman in his, in his wife's car. So realize I'm only putting the apostrophe S after wife it should not be the mailman's apostrophe S and his wife's apostrophe S car. So right here, this is going to be our complete subject. So that apostrophe S is going to go after the last noun in this, in, in this sentence. And then it's showing ownership of the car. Number seven, the milk of the cat. So the cat's milk, again, one noun not multiple or plural cats and is showing ownership of milk so it goes apostrophe s for cats number eight the cries of the dogs what are we noticing now about this noun correct it is multiple dogs technically in this sentence so plural so since it's already been given to us plural we will be adding the apostrophe after the s instead of apostrophe s like usual so the dogs cries and lastly number nine the cage of the monkey so we have one monkey showing ownership for cage so we are going to do the monkeys with an apostrophe s and cage now 
If you guys are having any troubles with doing possessive nouns, please reach out to your teachers, ask those clarifying questions, rewatch the video from the beginning if you think that you still need support, and write down any questions that you would like to ask. The secret code for today is charger. So make sure you are spelling that correctly. You use a charger to charge your laptop, to charge your cellular devices, to charge many things. So make sure you are spelling that right for a charger in the secret passcode today to begin your X ticket. Happy Monday and have a great start to your week.